Hey guys, I have an awesome update for you guys, but first I have a question for you that will be relevant. What is the path that God has you on right now that you can see him laying out in front of you? That'll come back to be important here in a minute. So recently God has been showing me a lot about what I'm doing in my life and what I'm not doing in my life and how I need to grow. And one of the main things is my friend who has been my con consistent ride and, and, you know, provider of transportation to things is leaving the state with his fiance. Now, um, they met, a, they met a while back and they've gotten to that point where they're ready to move on with the next phase of their lives. But she moved, she recently sold her house and she doesn't want to stay in Ohio because one, there's nothing affordable in Ohio. That's not a fixer upper. And two, she really doesn't, um, want to stay in Ohio because the weather is not great and her joints hurt, which I understand, you know, so they're leaving and that will provide me with a challenge where now I've got to figure out how to be self-sufficient where I don't need to necessarily ask people for rides all the time, eventually. So at first I thought, oh, okay, the church has helped me once, they'll help me again, you know. So I asked a few people in church and that fell through. I've asked the the outreach ministry leader himself for like maybe just starting or doing a special offering or whatever, if possible. Um, I'll see what what the answer is on that. I'm not hopeful that it'll be a, that it'll be a yes, but that's okay because God is providing ways anyway. Because here recently, TikTok actually. Um, started something new where now you're able to, if you if you uh, are included in the beta, to stream from your computer onto TikTok itself. Now, I've done live streaming before. I, I know how a lot of the stuff goes. I know how to entertain an audience for a long period of time. The main thing that I didn't have for the longest time is a larger audience, a larger pool from which to draw from for viewers and donations. Last, tonight, 5-10-2023, I streamed for two hours from the from the times of like 8.30 to 10.30 or something like that. Or no, wait, no. Almost 8.45 to 10 to 10.45, something like that. It's almost 11.30 now. And I was blessed to be able to see where God is providing a way forward because I received 17 new followers and 12 different people gifting a total of 1,700 diamonds, which is about one cent per diamond. So about $17 worth of donations in two hours. Now, you know, you might look at me and go, Gregory, that's less than minimum wage in most states. Yeah, granted. However, that's more than what I've been making so far in the last year and a half just on YouTube alone, or even, even with TikTok. You know, for the last three or four months, I've been getting about $10 a month from EarnApp, where I actually share my bandwidth, and because of that, I actually earn money. That's been my greatest source of income, aside from disability, for the last about five, six months. Now, I might be able to earn anywhere from $10 more to hundreds of dollars more a month just because I'm using the gifts that God gave me and, and leveraging TikTok as a platform that can help me grow and can help me succeed. You know, God is not providing me instant wealth. He's not giving me instant millions. He's providing me He's providing me an opportunity to finally make something work for me. You know, finally make an effort with what I already am gifted in to provide financially, to provide a living, you know. 
I haven't been employable for years. You know, I was given disability back in 2012. It's been almost 11 years since then. 11 years that I have had no income other than what the government gave. And I am eternally blessed that now God is finally showing me why I haven't had a nine to five job because I wouldn't have the time if I had a nine to five job to be able to refine all the skills necessary to get to this point. You know, people say all the time, I don't understand what God's plan is because it doesn't make sense to me. You know, it might not, it might not make sense to you because you know why God doesn't work on our timing. God doesn't work on our schedule. You know, I've been praying for years, God, Get me a job where I can manage to make money and not have to worry about too much effort, too much, too much physical activity because you know I can't do it. You know, I've been working on five years of prayer of God, give me a way to make money so that I don't have to be on disability forever. God, give me a way to make money so I can provide a place for my mother where she doesn't have to walk upstairs every night. God, give me a Give me a chance to make money so that I can hopefully one day actually own a home, you know, so I can one day actually have a mode of transport that's going to get me around that I don't necessarily need a license for, but I can at least manage to get two places that I need to go to. Well, the initial need that drove me to actually start looking for options was this transport need. But now I'm seeing that it's more than just a transport. This is going to, after I get the bicycle or the, the trike, I'll be able to provide for my ministry. I'll be able to start paying into stocks and stuff so I can start saving up for my 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 older years because I'm 32. I'm not going to get any younger. Eventually, I'm going to need to have a retirement plan in place so that hopefully when I can't do any more of this, I've still got money left over so I can still live because... You know, even even fat people live on average to about the about their mid forties, mid fifties, something like that on average. So uh, at worst, I've got another ten to fifteen years. At best, I've got about thirty to forty. You know, I could live up to my eighties if I lose the weight. That's the next thing I'm doing. You know, so God is providing a way forward. So again, I want to ask you, what path is God putting in your life? to help you move forward with your goals. And how are you going to walk into that? Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you again soon.